Hey guys, now make sure you subscribe for your chance to win $200 on the 4th of July. Followed by, we're going to be giving away an AFE intake for you F-150 guys once we reach 1,000 subscribers. Now in order to win, you got to be subscribed. So go ahead and subscribe guys. Now if you don't have an F-150, then we're going to give you a $300 uh, prepaid MasterCard. Alright guys, make sure you subscribe. Hey, what's up guys? This is Matt from Motor King Madness. So today, as you can see in the description, we are gonna destroy this Raptor by lowering it. I know everybody says, hey, you know, a Raptor needs to be lifted. Now, I'm doing the opposite. We're gonna lower this thing and see how this goes. Right now, I'm in Eau Claire uh, at Max Built Off-Road, south here on uh, Highway 93. So, come check these guys out. They specialize in Jeeps. But today, they're going to be specializing in this Raptor by lowering it. I'm sorry about the wind, guys. A rain, rain just came through. So it's, you know, we have a big storm. And of course, and of course, I didn't bring my jacket. So, yeah, it's a, a bit cold. But check this out, okay, guys? Look at all these Jeeps here. That is sick. Some of these old Jeeps are like awesome. Look at that. It's just a complete shell. And look how look how these older Jeeps here. Look how small they are compared to the Raptor. Look at that. You can practically fit that Jeep in the bed of that truck. But yeah guys, this is gonna be sick. This I mean who who lowers a Raptor, right? except for this guy so check this out what we're looking at on the Belltech uh it's a Belltech kit the part number is 1001 hk but we're gonna drop it three inches in the front here and then i believe it's a four inch drop in the back so with these wheels here how's that gonna look i don't know the only, the only Raptor I've ever seen dropped is the Pendum uh, Rocket Bunny kit. So, like I said, it, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome to see this thing drop. And, and I'm doing this for several reasons. One, uh, I have an elderly dog, so she hates to jump. Number two, my whole family is Asian, so they're all short people. They're like this tall. They're they're tiny. So. You know, my wife, she she has problems getting in and out of vehicles, you know, whatever. So, and then I guess the another reason why I am gonna drop this is because I don't do off-roading. You know, most Jeeps, I mean, you've seen my Jeep on the channel. That's never seen off-road. Neither has, is this Raptor gonna ever see off-road. So you guys have to check these guys out. So this is Max built in Eau Claire. I'll put the description below here. But check out that logo. That's sick. So yeah guys, you have to come check these guys out. If you are in Eau Claire and you need anything, lifting, lowering, Jeeps, trucks, they do everything here. So um yeah, they, they've lowered just regular F-150s, but never have they ever lowered a Raptor. So, um, yeah, guys, I guess we're going to turn it over to them, and we're going to see how it goes. I'll be checking it throughout the day, and we'll just see how it's going.
10 days later, guys. We are back here at Max Build Off Road. And check this out, the Raptor is finally done. Uh, we had a lot of issues because the, uh, uh, the Beltec kit 1001HK is not actually for the Raptor. So they had to modify it quite a bit in order to get it in here. We had to, you know, contact different manufacturers, get the right stuff in. I'll let them inside explain to you guys what exactly we all had to do in order to make this happen. All right, so this is Dave from Maxbuilt, and uh, we had a lot of issues with this install because, you know, the kit didn't actually was for this truck. So, Dave, what all did we have to do to get it in there? We had to do a little modification to uh, the coilovers that were in, that came in the kit. They needed new bushings in the bottom. They weren't set up with the right, uh, the right bolt hole to get the to get it to fit the Raptor. So we got a new bushing in the bottom of it. Uh, we had to put some uh, spacers in the top to get to get it to fit the Raptor to get the right appropriate amount of drop in it. Um, a lot of that up front, we had to notch some control arms so we can get the right angle of the camber on the tires. Um, other than that, everything on the rear was smooth. Everything went great. All the sway bars are in, flipped the rear axle. Um, yeah, just a lot of unknown territory on that front end. Um, a, lot of, a lot of figuring things out, that's for sure. So for a normal person trying to do this, what would you recommend? It's gonna take, <laughs> it's gonna take some, uh, some, some equipment. You're gonna be pushing, bar or pushing bushings in and out of uh, those coilovers. Other than that, I mean, it doesn't take anything crazy beyond a regular set of tools and uh, you need a die grinder to make some cuts, get get everything so it clearances so you can actually run that Raptor suspension lowered down. Um, if you're on a regular F-150, gravy all day long. That Raptor is the key that, uh, that changes everything up. And uh, yeah, you gotta be ready to change some things. That bushing is the biggest thing in the bottom of that once we found that and the angles that the control arms needed to be at. We're golden. Yeah. Or well, they could just bring it here, right? You, you guys will do Raptors all day, won't you? I, you can bring me a Raptor a week. I'll get them done. All right. Tell tell everybody about uh, your guys' company. What do you guys do here? Max Build. Off-road manufacturing. Um, yeah. We do a lot of things like this. That's the first lowered Raptor we've done, but uh, a lot of Jeeps that come through, a lot of lift vehicles, um, suspension work, wheels, tires, you name it, we can do it. Um yeah, that general repair work too. Don't be afraid to bring us an alternator. So, so pretty much anything because um, somebody was telling me that you guys uh, put a Hellcat in a Jeep. Yep. Wow. We did. Uh, we had a Hellcat Wrangler, four door Wrangler. Some big, big engine, big wheels, big tires. Looked pretty sweet when it was all said and done. All right. Made a lot of power. Awesome. Yeah. So yeah, this, this strut, that bushing that Dave's talking about is right there, the very bottom bushing where that big bolt goes through. That's what they had to change, um, as well as they had to do a bunch of stuff uh, for the alignment. And then um, up there, they had to use a, you know, like leveling kit, um, leveling kit hockey pucks, you know, in there to be able to get this to go So yeah, guys, if you guys need anything done and you're in the Oakland area, whether you, you want suspension work, you want to lift um, your vehicle, you want to lower your vehicle, hit up these guys right here at Max Belt. Uh, they're, they're down there on Highway 93. I'll put their information in the description so you guys could check them out. Uh, they specialize in Jeeps. So you go to their website, check out all their stuff and yeah guys uh they have a big following they've got customers all over the world so yeah go ahead and check them out but this is the this is what they did i mean they're the only people that i could find that were willing to lower a raptor so yeah that's that's pretty awesome guys i like it i dig it and then these are my old shocks and coilovers as well as some miscellaneous pieces, bump stops and stuff like that. 
that get returned after you put this kit in. And I just took it for a test spin. I am back at my house, guys. And this was an, a very interesting build, but check it out. There is the finished product. So, as you can see, we are dropped. It's even. Looks sick. So this is what a Raptor looks like dropped. And you can't just get a kit and do this to your Raptor. You actually have to do a lot of customizations to get this to work. Look at the wheel gaps. Isn't that sick? The guys over there at Max Belt, before I left, they wanted me to do a burnout, so I did a burnout. There's rubber everywhere. But check it out, guys. Look at that stance there in the back. So what do you guys think? Is this sick? Or was this an epic fail? Go ahead and comment below. I think it kind of looks sick. Remember, this was all an experiment, guys. Here's the front. Look how sick that looks. So yeah guys, uh, you know this was just an experiment. I wanted to see if we could lower a Raptor and what it looked like. Oh, arms getting tired. So I wanted to see if we could lower a Raptor and what it would look like. All in this, I got 4,500 bucks into this. So uh, if you want to lower your Raptor, you must really want to lower your Raptor or you got some, some cash to throw around. So this, you know, this was just an experiment. We may keep it like this, we may change it. You never know, we may, we may lift it after this, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm kind of digging it. I like it. So, yeah, I mean, it's a little bumpy, but you know, if you've ever driven a lower car, you would know that they're bumpy. So. Yeah, guys, what do you guys think? Damn, that's just sick. Especially with the off-road wheels, you know, wheels and tires on a lower truck. That actually came out really well. You have to admit, that does look sick. yeah this is this was this was awesome guys definitely awesome so yeah guys i lowered my rafter so uh i'm not sure what we're gonna do next to it but listen if you like if you like what we're doing here you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell and um yeah we'll just see what what else we end up doing with the the raptor or the jeep or any of the harley so all right, guys, uh, as usual, you guys stay safe. You know, we're still in the middle of 2020 where everything is going bad at this current time. So, yeah, guys, stay safe and, you know, take care of yourselves. All right, guys, peace. See ya.